Hello, good morning YouTube brothers and sisters. Um, God bless. I hope uh, may the good Lord bless each and every one of you out there in video land. I just wanted to share a little something um, that just happened. Was having a little, you know, in your mind conversation with the Lord after having a prayer. I, I, I just, I was putting my garbage can up and I was going to put the new garbage bag in and I heard pray. So I went, hey, you know, I finally learned to listen to the good Lord for once. And um, I started to say the Lord's Prayer because I, I understand that that's what Jesus told the disciples. This is what you should pray, right? Because it kind of covers everything in a person's day. It really does. Um, <clears throat> and life. Plus, the Holy Spirit hears this prayer and takes the needs of your heart to God. That's how that's supposed to work, right? So anyway, I'm saying this prayer, and I'm like, thanks, Father, you know, because like, you reminded me to pray, and it was probably a really good prayer, because if he's reminding me, I probably needed it. And then I chuckled. And... I sometimes tell people that God's got a good sense of humor. And one time a guy asked me, like what? And I'm like, I don't know. I can't remember. I just know sometimes, man, we chuckle, you know. And, um, okay, well, here I remember now. So here's one. I had just done that, right? And I'm like, I kind of got a chuckle over the whole thing. And I go, you have a good sense of humor. And he goes, I invented it. You know, or created it, whatever. I made it. I'm like, yeah, I get, you know, like just, again, this great sense of humor. And I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you guys because, I mean, God's good. You know, like he, he's just and he's holy. So um, you're going to have to, you have the choice. You have the choice. The choice is yours. You can do whatever you want in your life. That's the free will thing. God is just and holy, and so every choice you make, he's going to look at that and bless it or judge it. Like, chastise it. <clears throat> Curse it. Depends what word you want to use. But that's it. Like, you either are blessed for your choice on that choice, or you're cursed for that choice on that choice. Now, chastised, uh, appreciated, you know, but those are the words used, blessed and cursed originally, right? And it makes sense because he's our father, so if we're doing good, he's kind of going to give us a little pat on the back. If we're doing bad, he's going to give us a little spank on the butt. And that's God. He's our father. But he's also our father, and I mean... If any of all out there got a sense of humor, where do you think you came from? Like you said, I made it. <laughs> of course, I have a good sense of humor, son. I just love him. He's so cool. Like, you guys, just, just get to know him. Forget about everybody's perceptions of whatever. Who cares? I remember thinking right after that, man, if people could actually be filming and watching this, this is when they say people are, you know. But it's when you actually are able to have... A personal relationship with God, with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit. Because, well, that's what I was laughing about, right? Because I'm like, I said something about it. Oh, at the end, thank you, Father. And thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Holy Spirit. And then I laughed. I said, whatever. Y'all are probably laughing at me for being confused on who I'm saying thanks to. And y'all are the same one. You just, you know. And then I, that's what I said when we were laughing. And I said, yeah, you have a good sense of humor. So, I mean, God is so good, guys. <clears throat> when he says, when Jesus says the commandments, to love God with all of your heart, you know, love him. Really love him. And all of your soul. Walk with him, you know. Walk with him. And all of your mind. Think of him. Think about him. When it starts to, you know, I was a father. World's getting me again. 
And as soon as you're talking to your father, it's okay again. Walk with me. You know, it doesn't seem to matter how far to the left or the right we seem to get. His arms are always wide open for us. And as soon as we turn back to him, or in the old words, repent, change our thinking, and come back to him, he just picks us up like the lost sheep, right? And he puts us on his shoulder, right? And he carries us back to a spot where he figures, you know, we're okay. And then he'll set us back down again, right? And let us walk again. <laughs> yeah, and you know, we might wander a little to the left or a little right, but I mean, you know, we might get chastised and it might get really bad and we can't make it anymore. And, you know, as soon as you call out to God, he's going to pick you up again because he forgives us. But he also is our father, right? And if you love and respect and honor your father, you always want to do good for him, right? And you want to, like, do what he likes and what he wants, you know? And if he's the kind of father where you want to, like, whenever anyone sees you, oh, whose son is that? That's his son. Whose son? God's son. Right? Am I condemning you guys? No, I, this, I'm probably learning as much as you are. Um, I, I daily try to walk better in my life. He, he's, he grows us from the inside. He makes, I don't know how to explain it. There's so much religion gets pushed in on the sides that the, it, it scares the truth. Like, well, the fear, right, of God. Because yes, fear God for your eternal salvation. And he said, you believe on his son, I'll give you eternal, everlasting life. But believe on his son is believe that Jesus Christ was his son, the one and only. And he's our king, he's our Lord, he's God's son, he is God incarnate in a man. You believe that and trust that, and trust that he, <laughs> saved you he saw like his when when he died on the cross it's called the propitiation right that's full payment paid in full he did it believe on him trust him love him he already paid your debt you can't you can't do it i can't do it i can't quit sitting how there's sins i sinned all over today because i've been kind of lazy and oh man i was screaming at the cat to, don't step under my feet oh so irritating and then i'm like all oh, grumpy and i'm like really <laughs> come here you love me pet 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 why am i grumpy at you you're just excited because you're in the camper and you think there should be a little cat dish over here take every thought captive guys enemy's gonna pick on your brain where do you think the war is we battle spirits Powers, principalities, stuff like that. Not people. I don't see people for days, months sometimes. The battle's every day, all day. It's in your mind. It isn't all those people out there in the world that are going to stand there with you and God. It's you and God. And you know what you're going to talk about? All those things in your mind. Because when you were doing those things with your hands, you were doing those things with your mind. God's like the super, super, super computer, guys. <clears throat> Every thought he says and the motive behind it. That's deep. <clears throat> so he's God. <laughs> and he's adopted you. If you're his child, if, you're, if you believe on Jesus Christ as the Messiah, he is the Messiah, not this guy they're going to show you soon. You're safe. You're a child of God. Love him. Think about him all day long. Because he's, you know what he wants from you? One thing. That's it. From what I understand. And this, you know, take my word for it kind of a thing. But the way I word it, all he wants is everything. 100% of you. He just wants you to think about him. Love him every time you're happy. Thank you, Father. Every time you're sad. Thank you, Father. At least you show, you know, 
if you're upset, if you're angry, anything, look to God. Oh, why am I being like this, Father? And He will just change you. He helps us. He, he'll bless that choice. No, don't be angry. Come to me. Okay, all right, here, son. Look, oh, you feel better, don't you? Yeah, I sure did instantly. Turn to the Lord. Repent. Repent. Everybody, they scream it at you. Repent. Eh? Scare you away. Repent. Change that thought and think, Hey, Father, God, what should I do? What would you do? Will you help me with this? I'm feeling bummed out. Lord, can you help me? This hurts, you know. Can you take this? And he will take it. He wants all of you. And if you're anything like me, a lot of it's messed up. Hurt and pain and anger and frustration and depression. All those things. All of those negative things in our lives are there for one reason, you guys. So that we will turn to Almighty God so that He can take them away and give us love and peace. God, through His Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the one that died on that cross for us, and He was buried, as Scripture said, in a rich man's tomb. And three days later, He was raised from the dead by God Almighty, creator of absolutely everything through his son Jesus Christ if you believe that if you truly believe that and love the Lord first of all see you in heaven um, and secondly share it guys share it we're out of time time is short time is short um, so share the simple gospel the very simple truth that if you believe on Jesus Christ as the Son of God, the Messiah, the Messiah is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Okay? And this isn't scriptural gospel. I'm sorry. If you want scriptural gospel, um, show them 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4 at least. I like a little more. Um, Romans 10, 9 is, is really good. If you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and you profess that He is the Lord or something like that, with your mouth, believe it in your heart, profess it with your lips, you are saved. That's what God says. God don't lie. From that moment on is your walk with God. And He wants you to spend 100% of your time with Him. So it includes everything. So if you got anxieties or anything, just keep, just talk to God. Ask Him every time. Every time he wants it all, he wants all of your pain, he wants all of your suffering, he wants everything. Not just your love, he wants all of your love. But if you give him all the pain and stuff, he'll give you the opportunity to change all of that into love. Remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, them boys walked right into that thing, and them guys, they threw him in the fire. And the guys that threw them in the fire burnt and died because the fire was so hot. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and they said one more figure, were in that fire, and then they walked out of that fire without even the smell of smoke because they said, I will not bow down to you. I bow down to Almighty God only. Okay? That's who we live for. That's who we live in. We're the body of Christ. And we're the only ones left. That Well, we're the only, always the only ones that are out here that have the truth. So share it. Because the world is throwing in all kinds of stuff from every angle to try to block the true message of Jesus Christ as Messiah. Period. And there's a whole book here that proves it. So, I love you all. And I'm going to cut it down before it hits the whole 15 minute. Not that that mattered at all. But I just, I wanted to share that one nice thing. And it turned to something that the Lord, I think, wanted to hear. Wanted you to hear. Oh, my power came back on for a second. Sweet. Power's on. All right. I'm going to save my battery, too. I love you guys. God loves you guys. 
and he's just waiting. He's just waiting. Another really good one was, Call on the name of the Lord, and ye shall be saved, ye and your household. Think about that. I love you guys.